What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering internet draft here on uh, the voodoo box that is the internet. I will be doing a M19 draft today with your help. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm not really going to ask for your help. Oh, another, a second Palladium Ores that we've opened. That's pretty interesting. I guess we're Naya, huh? This guy's got to be better than Volcanic Dragon, right? Any tips on winning an M19 draft? Take the good cards and uh, don't take the bad cards. <laughs> Did we open Palladium Wars? The answer is always yes, right? Hey, huge fan. Can you not make any misplays today? Uh, this is the new Jaya's Emulating Inferno, apparently. Only Mythic, so... Still gonna take it. Oh, Sun Cleanser, also pretty common. Also pretty common. I wish this was an instant, but then it would just be fling. I like Rise from the Grave. I also like Lich's Caress. What's better? That's our question here. What's better? Lich's Caress or Rise from my dad? I don't love... I'm not going to take Druid of the Cowl over the Lich's Caress. Oh, actually, we, <laughs> we're we not black, are we? <laughs> I literally was just like, yeah, this has got to be black, right? It's three colors. It's got to be black. Yeah, now I'll just take the Druid of the Cowl. That does seem like the better pick, all things considered. Plus, passing those two black cards is a pretty good signal, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, oh, we were going to take that black card, just under the assumption that, uh, you know. Obviously, Palladium Wars is black, too. Three out of Dragons are actually able to cast the most games. That's all my luck for this set. Yep, that'll do it. That will do it. Blood Divination, huh? I like Colossal Majesty. Colossal Majesty was actually pretty good for us. Spark Tongue Dragon is fine. It's a 3-3 flyer for 5, but it's also, like... I mean... Eight mana is not nothing. Hmm. I'm. It's either it's either Majesty or it's Spark Tongue Dragon. I kind of like Majesty more. I think it's more of a build around card. Drawing a card every turn, especially in a in a set like M nineteen, is pretty strong. Let me cast an enchantment spell, draw a card. It might just be Bristling Boar here. I don't think Inferno Hellion is actually that great. Like, Bristling Boar, I'd rather just take the negative three power and not lose this after a turn. <laughs> so. Probably just going to take the Bristling Boar here. Thank you. Kagrin, thank you so much for the, re for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Also, Boar and uh, Majesty both very good with... Uh, Druid of the Cowl. You know, because they're four mana spells that you can cast on. Oh, actually, Colossal Majesty is only three, so never mind. Oh, another another boar. Hmm. Cost like Sky Scanner, but I don't. I don't know if I care about Sky Scanner in this deck. I mean, I'd rather just have the boar because it goes well with Majesty, and we can cast it on turn three with uh, Druid of the Cowl. Pig, 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 pig. Also, Gallant Cavalry, not bad, but it might just be worse than Boar in the deck with Colossal Majesty. So I'm going to take the, the Bristling Boar here. I think I took it. Nope, did not take it. Okay, now we took it. Beginning of your upkeep, gain a life. Sacrifice, draw a card. I always forget what this card does. Is it just this? It's just this oh, idiot. Been watching on YouTube since the Dominaria and Flyman stream. Nice to hear it, Kagrin. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the support. I said man is uh, not necessarily specifying. It was just kind of a generic term. I apologize for that. Um, Ogre triggers Majesty, but then Marauder's Axe is just good on anything, right? I'd rather have the Axe. Thank you. 
you're thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, man. You guys, this is this is a great this is a great little uh, little sub train we got going here. Helion is very odd. I like Manolith. Um, and by like, I mean it's okay. Because it does help us cast this. It helps us splash either the white or the red, depending on what our second color is. And um, eh, it lets us splash other things, too. I think Corsair is great, but I think I'd rather just have the Manolith here. I really want to be able to play this, because I think it's a very high reward card. Root Snare, don't care. Root, root Snare, don't care. All right, that's... That's how we're going to do it here. It might just be Fire Elemental. Fire Elemental is actually reasonable, I think. But I don't know if I like white better. I imagine the 2-2 two, two for 3 that draws you a card every time you cast an enchantment is coming back. Maybe. So that could be better with the uh, with a white card. Or like a growth. I like Gaspar Twins is actually fine, especially if we can get another Druid of the Cow. We also have Manolith, so this is actually a big creature that I'm okay with playing. Knight of the Tusk is actually pretty good. Like, it's really hard to get through, and it's a 3-7 with Vigilance, so you're still able to get in there. But the problem is double white, and it doesn't trigger our Colossal Majesty, whereas Rock's Oracle does. So I'm just going to take the Oracle. I don't think Oracle is great, but it does do a thing. Is apparatus good? Three and, a, three and a tap for this idiot? That's brutal, man. I'm just going to take the Basilisk. Are we going to start with 16 lands today? Maybe. Actually, we might. Take Basilisk number dose. Recollect? Uh, I don't hate a Recollect. I don't hate a Recollect. Let's put it over there. There we go. Seaman. Oh, Naturalize. Okay. That's good. Trampoline Tails. I'll see what I can do, buddy. Remorseful Cleric. That is hot poop. Dreadmaw. Another Thud. Thornhide Wolves. Probably Luminous Bonds. Actually, in the Enchantment Guide, did not come back. Pretty sure it's Luminous Bonds here. Rarely frilled to take that Serpent, but he's not bad. What's Serpant? Did you spell serpent wrong in your in your pun? Yeah, it's pretty easy luminous bonds here. I did. <laughs> oh man, I appreciate appreciate your honesty, buddy. Appreciate your honesty. If you're splashing white two one flyer is bad. Uh, yeah, I think so. I'm not a big two one flyer fan. I'll take this rabbit bite though, especially in our in our big guys matter deck. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. 0-4 Defender. That's actually, interestingly, not bad. It's probably Shock, right? I'll take the Shock. XC Blaze, buddy. What's going on? My God. It's like old times again. I have the jazz stuck in my head now. Oh, Phylactery Lich? I didn't even know this card was in this set. Ha! Huh. That's funny. Regal Bloodlord. That's also kind of funny. Stone Quarry? That might just be better than Rupture Spire in our deck. Because we're, ba we're, ba we're base green. So, like, I don't care if this doesn't tap for green. We're not going to have a forest issue. Havoc Devil's also not terrible. I think I'd rather just have the fixing here. I don't think we're going to have a problem getting guys, uh, but I, I would like to make sure we can cast our white and our red spells easily. I am going to crap out some big guys. Hey, see, now we can get this Havoc Devils now. Is Pegasus Corsair just better in the big guys matter deck? Like giving this Gaspark Twins uh, flying, it seems pretty good. How many big guys do we have that matter right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually a good amount. It's probably Corsair. I think Corsair is significantly better than Havoc Devils, especially as it's single, single white spell. I 
Suspicious Bookcase does feel like it should be on Innistrad. That's actually a very good point. I, it does have a very innistrad feeling to it. Just been trying to get time timing through the next gap semester. Yeah, that's the worst. Um, what's going on with me? I stream and post videos still. Basically, it. You are you are looking at it, buddy. Thank you. Ted Chuck, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Put the candle back. What is that from? Dragon egg. Is that a card I care about? I care about it more than any other card in this pack, I think. Giant Spider's good. We're not a sacrifice deck either. It might actually be Giant Spider. We have many tapestries. How can you have how can you be a castle with no tapestries? If you are Scotland Yard, I am Mickey Mouse. It's a good movie. Oh, uh, I do like an invoke here. What does this guy do? Aether Tunnel? Plus one, plus one can't be blocked. That seems really strong. I'm just going to take this sweet sideboard card. Shield Mare. Double white, huh? <sighs> Gallant Cavalry is actually great. I'll just take the Gallant Cavalry here. Oh, Thorn High Wolves? Alright, this deck is looking... Actually, Thud could be very, very good. I do like a Thud. Hmm. I mean, we're going to have big guys matter. This is just 7 to the... F yeah, we're just going to take Thud here. We can get another Thorn High Wolves if we really want one. I'm just going to take the Rare here. I don't care about any of these cards. We have Naturalize and we have Invoke for the... Oh. Well then, 5 mana, 5 mana, 4, 2, 5. Yeah, I'm just going to take the guy that draws me an extra card. That doesn't cost double. 4, 3, that can't be blocked by more than one creature. 4, 3 is Trample. Got to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, I died. Wall of Vines, what a sick sideboard card. JK. Yeah, when they put Luminous Bonds on this guy, we can just be like, all right, seven, yeah. I think this deck looks really good so far. But I feel like that, that has been all of our decks, so. I'm actually not sold on this Fire Elemental yet because of double red. Ooh -wee. This is just a rhino making pizza, isn't it? This is just pizza rhino, isn't it? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I think we just take Chaos Wine. This is actually very, very good last last time. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Alright, your pizza's ready. Here you go. Oh. Soup rhino? No, man, this looks like a pizza. Obviously, it's a cauldron with some some liquid in it, but it looks like a pizza, and that's funnier. That's funnier than 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 soup rhino. Oh, mentor of the meek, power two or less. That's kind of contradictory to our entire deck. I think we're just taking angel of the dawn. Like, what do we have? One, two, three. Four, five. Yeah, I'm just going to take Angel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got Colossal Majesties. We got Mentor of the Meek. You got the little power. You got big power. We got it all. All the power you can want.
What are you? Six mana when she enters the battlefield, create a one white soldier token for each non land, non token creature you control. This actually seems okay. If we have. So, so it's going to create one, right? So it's at least a 3 3 for. and on a 1 1. I like Angel if we don't take this. But if we have two other dudes, she makes three one ones. That's actually really good, especially with an Angel of the Dawn already. Yeah, we're going to try this out. This card seems good. Oh, another Rabid Bite. And an Elvish Rejuvenator, which could be very, very good. Uh, she can't save many creatures, but that's not really what I'm concerned with. I'm just... I'm just concerned with making guys. Making copy. It's just... It's got to be Rabbit Bite here, right? I don't care about the Rejuvenator as much when we already have a Druid and a Manolith. I would rather just have a second Rabbit Bite. And we can take this Rejuvenator, I suppose, if we really need one. Nope, nope, nope. Inspired Charge could be good thanks to this, but I think we're just taking the Rejuvenator. How many Millstones are we seeing? How many Millstones? I'm going to take this Rupture Spire. This is actually pretty good for our deck. Uh, she'll definitely get some extra value. I mean, we have Gallant Cavalry, Giant Spider. Is it less than or equal to with power less than? It's Rejuvenator, Daggerback, Pegasus Courser, Druid. So, I mean, like, not not none, not nothing, but not really creatures we care about either, so. I'm going to just take Titanic Growth. Reasonable card to have. Rogue's Gloves? I actually don't hate Rogue's Gloves. We don't have the flyers for it, I don't think. We don't have the evasive creatures for it. Uh, might play Boar over the Giant Spider. In the main deck. We could put a Marauder's Axe, and that does save a bunch of guys. But, I mean, what are they playing that's going to kill all of our guys? I'm not sure. I feel like this could be a 16 land deck with Rejuvenator Druid. Oh, Gutter Snipe is interesting. What are the odds we lose to this sleep at some point? I'll take Millstone here. Take the other Millstone I see as well. Titanic growth dot deck over here. That is a very yeah, it's very weird that the the sleep wield like that's not normal. Sleep is basically blue overrun, I think. Because while you don't get the buff, you do get basically two attacks out of it. Is there any of these cards we don't want? I think Daggerback Basilisk is kind of meh. But maybe not. I'm going to play one. Actually, we do have more. We have significantly more white cards, so that's probably not correct. I think we can get away with one mountain, because that would be one, two, three, four... Potentially five red sources for three red cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, I'll say seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it nine, two, four? Four, five, six. Uh, Marauder's Axe is pretty okay. It also makes the uh, Selfless Champion tokens better. Makes Pegasus Courser better. Hmm. 
Yeah, Axe has, Axe has been very good. Um, four, five, six. Eight, nine versus four, five, six, seven. I just don't feel like eight, four, five, six. I don't feel like eight, nine, seven is really where you want to be. I mean, there's no real double green cards until turn seven, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's actually fair. Nine, ten, five. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll go to 41. All right. So this is Mountain, Stone Quarry, Rupture Spire, Manolith. So it's four red sources plus maybe a Rejuvenator. Um, for four, for three red cards. That seems fine. Yep. <sighs> cool. You know what? Sure. I'll keep it. Because going to four seems worse. And if we can hit land, 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 I guess we're fine. Matthew Ori, did you try to not hit your head on the top of the van? Cool. How did our draft end up? Well, I mean, you know, the old mold of five can't hit a second land. Pretty classic. I mean, I'm real tempted to concede here because this is just obnoxious, but you know what? I guess we'll play it out. moments like this where you just don't want to get out of bed to, to stream in the morning yeah okay cool cool ctb thanks so much for the resub really appreciate it despite that uh wow still no lands that's fantastic cool game i will play first yep we'll keep this hand Drew to the cowl. Or bristling boar. Bristling boar berigmos. What even is this? I'm just going to put this luminous bonds on this dude now. At least we get a sweet two for one here.
Pig City. Make sure you're specific about which Borber you're talking about. Oh, Bradley. Oh, Bradley. Attempted to block here. Oh, they didn't attack. I'm fascinated. Two, three, four. Probably just bore here because next time we can play both of these guys. Uh, I did like Ant Man. I thought it was very entertaining. But I mean, let's. I'm gonna be real. It's I, I'm a hard pressed to dislike a Marvel movie. Just because I have such a fond connection to the source material. So, do we assume they don't have a pump spell and they don't blow us out here? I'm going to assume that because I have one card in hand. So, let's take this dude down. That was a good trade. One for one, and we printed five, so. Thunder. Thunder, thunder. This guy. Rupture Spire. Knew it. I'll just take a forest here, because I don't really want to be playing for Rupture Spire this turn. Um, I'll just play Courser here. Do I say target creature you control can't be blocked by creatures power two or less this turn? So I can just pump this guy, get in for three, which is a good reason to start getting in with this guy, I guess. Oh, that was definitely Thunder by Imagine Dragons, only because the song is, despite being terrible, on the radio all the time. So. That's my excuse. This is where they go. Activate the ability on both. And I'm going to be like, buddy. Deal. I will trade a courser for a gear per guide. That is a good deal. Give me something good to eat. Dang it. Yeah, I, I'm, okay, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys. Imagine Dragons has a real nickelback feel to it right now. Every song on the radio sounds like Imagine Dragons. And I'm just like, is this Imagine Dragons? Is this the same Imagine Dragons song? All the songs sound like they belong in sitcom soundtracks. Not sitcom, but like, you know, like hour-long TV dramas. And it feels real Nickelback-y. Where, like, you, you kind of know it's a different song, but you can't really tell. You're like, I think this is not the same Imagine Dragons song, but I'm not really sure. Uh, do I think Gigantosaur sucks in... I mean, it's a 10-10, right? That guy seems great in limited. I mean, if you're playing heavy green, yeah. I mean, it just depends. Like, that, that's a that's a card that completely depends on the deck, right? All right. This is six, so you go to nine unless you block, but I don't see you blocking. Can you nickel my backy? I have no idea what you're even asking me right now, but the answer is likely no. I think we just won this game. Oh, rabid bite. So I guess we're not alive anymore. Give me something down to land. Oh, my own rabid bite. That takes care of literally anything they have. That's pretty good.
came for the magic, stayed for the harsh Imagine Dragons criticisms. Fantastic. Fantastic. This is all I asked for. Question is, what do you think of Ninja casually putting 100k viewers on a daily? Um, why? Why? I mean, like, I don't, I mean, that seems pretty normal. I don't know. Like, he's definitely one of, if not the top, like, three streamers in the world, right? Like, I mean, there's also, like, the, there's the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the well-knownness of him, right? Like, they everybody knows he's super big, so people just go to check it out, too. You have such a huge uh, fervor around around a, a player that big that it's like, well, you know, you're going to pull in huge audiences. And also, to even begin to pull in that size audience, you got to be doing something right, so... They are at three, so next turn, if they don't play anything, we can go Rabid Bite, attack for two, thud them, which is kind of hilarious. Oh my. Is this real? Oh man, that's gas. Are you attacking? Oh wow. So now you're just dead. Wow. Are you kidding me? Those are your those are your two top decks. Give me a creature with power three or more. I can't like I can't I can't even right now dude like we literally have this game this kills anything with this guy and this just deals in the last two points and they have plus seven plus seven card and specific removal card both of which they can cast in the same turn and they were their last two draws like you have to be kidding me Next card will have won us the game, I guarantee it. <laughs> I guess we don't get to see it. Cool. Wait. Oh, that's right. I forgot we actually lost. I literally forgot. Rabbit Bite doesn't use Death Touch. I mean, how does it not use Death Touch? Target creature deals damage equal to his power, so... Yeah, the creature is dealing the damage. It 100% uses Death Touch. Yes, it's power only, but to target creature you control deals damage. The creature is dealing damage, therefore it uses Death Touch. It doesn't have to be a fight mechanic. I literally forgot game one where we literally didn't get to play magic. <laughs> like, that's hilarious to me, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Absolutely incredible. Oh boy. Well, this is a good draft so far. Said no one. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Rabid Bite and, uh, the basilisks were in the set because of the the interaction together. Yeah, total misplay. Not not killing the other guy. Correct. My bad. Right, but I corrected you and told and told you that it was still um, that the creature was dealing the. Oh, okay, cool. I guess this is what what is going on today, dude. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. We figured it, we figured out the rabbit bite, dagger claw, daggerback basilisk interaction, and now we're fine. No worries. Thunder, da da thunder. 
Lightning in the thunder. So Music Manly, my biggest issue with what happened, and, and don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not upset by any means. My biggest issue is that you presented it as fact, and you said, uh, Rabbit Bite doesn't use Death Touch, it's power only. As if, like, I 100% know this for a fact, and you're wrong. And that's my biggest, my biggest, that's my biggest issue. And that's the thing I think I call people out most on, is that, like, they're always like, well, actually, you're wrong because you took this and it's not very good. And I'm like, well, that's really completely subjective. The set has literally been out for three days. How do you know it's no good? Well, because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a master draftsmith. How, how, what else would I know? And, uh... Yeah, that's. I'm just gonna keep this hand because any any forest is good. We have like nine forests and a rupture spire, so let's let's do it. Let's do it. So yeah, just to be clear. Oh, look at that! I found the rupture spire. My pet peeve is people who, uh, in, especially in a subjective game like Magic, uh, people who call things that are their opinions and they present them as facts. And it, it, like a lot of people don't actually need. Um, what, a lot actually, a lot of people don't actually mean to to be like offensive or, or shitty about it, right? Like it's just, it's just literally the way people talk. But for some reason, it always gets me. I'm always like, Ugh. oh, that's cool. You're cool. You're a cool dude. I guess I'll just replay this. Rabbit bite doesn't. I'm gonna let you finish, but rabbit bite and death and death touch creatures have the best interaction of all time. Uh, what if Ben Stark secretly hangs on my chat? If Ben Stark is secretly hanging out on my chat, um, and Ben's great by the way, um, then I will accept uh whatever whatever criticism he has because Ben has the pedigree of someone who who can call who can make calls like that. Um, I think we're just boring here. Because otherwise we get to do nothing, and that sounds worse. And you're just going to Essence Scatter it? Oh, we can cancel it? That's actually better. Next time we can go Corsair and Rupture Spire, which seems pretty good. Oh, boy, our whole hand is good. I'm just going to get rid of the Rupture Spire, then. Guys, okay. Hey, Frank, Mike, Chat, Mike, and No, Mike. Yeah, those. Are <laughs> those would be the three present mics. That's pretty good. Also, music man, just to be clear. Uh, no, no offense taken whatsoever. I was literally just spitting off about stupid pet peeves. I was under no impression that you meant it in any sort of negative way. Oh, look at that. Look at that big boy. I will take one. Would you agree that if you get behind in this set coming back? Um, I can't... I, I'm not saying it's out of the question, but I can't really speak to that yet. Just because... Oh, that was actually a great draw. Because we want to be able to Luminous Bonds and play this guy and set up for Alina next turn. I just can't speak to that yet because I haven't had that experience. Hat Nick Mike. Wow, that is... That guy is... Man, Hat Nick Mike like, left quite an impression. Also, Lena makes four creatures here. Four 1-1s. One that's pretty strong. No joke. That's a strong boy. Oh, I see. You're just going to bounce your guy. Well, isn't that cute? Well, five fives are particularly large, aren't they? Let's make a bunch of dudes. Look at all my soldier boys. Pump that soldier boy. Crank that soldier boy? What's the what's the lyric? I don't know the soldier boy lyric. What up, P Bert? 
Uh, hey Bert, listen, I just want to talk to you about uh, the living situation here. I think it's a little, uh, a little messy. I think, you, Bert, you're just a little messy. Actually, that would be Ernie, wouldn't it? Ernie would be the messy. Bert would be the. Ernie would be the messy one. <laughs> All right, everyone's everyone in the chat is telling me it's crank that soldier boy. So boy, soldier boy, did I mess that one up? What an what an amateur. Bro, you sounded like. Uh, hello, this is uh, Kermit the Frog. I would just like to have a little. Uh, I don't. I don't know where I'm going with that. Yeah, hey Bert. Uh, maybe they're different. I feel like they're they're really close, but there's got to be some difference, right? They have two cards. Can we just consistently crush with these two? Crank that soldier boy. They all sound like that. Okay. Oh, are we just eating? Well, there's no green pump, so I don't know what that... Yep. All right, cool. I feel like Kermit is just a mix of both Bert and Ernie's voices. Ooh, bounce this. Can you bounce this? You're going to bounce this. That's a good one. That's a good choice. Solid choice. Solid strategery. Thank you. Rathy, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is where they, they were holding the essence scatter. Sure. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. What a deck. What a deck. I really need to get rid of this guy somehow. Oh god, where do I need to go? What is this video? <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, dude. Elkatiris, not only how did you find that video, but how did you know that video existed? That's what I want to know. These are the questions I ask myself. The Poner, thank you for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. We are, we just try to crank that soldier boy here, that's all. Oh, look, a little snappy boy. Give me an angel. Send me an angel. A forest is pretty, pretty similar. Oh. Do I just want to kill this? Probably. I mean, this gives us a lot of time. I don't really want to kill. I don't want to. I don't want to keep this guy around. We, they really have no way to get through, and we have a pretty good deck, I think. Can I get? Oh, for crying out loud! Guess I should have killed that instead. Didn't know your draws were just going to be gas into gas. I'm so upset about not being a Black Lotus man of all channel teeth and nail. You turn one. Oh yeah, I mean. That's life, though, you know? Oh, look who we drew. Oh, I didn't mean to play that for us, but I guess we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, boy. Do we just win if we hit the the angel? Probably. Can we also draw Colossal Majesty so that we have... Doesn't nothingness exist in space? Would you consider dark matter nothingness? What about a black hole? Wow, are you fucking serious? That's unbelievable. Congratulations. This is amazing. I don't know how to not get blown out like this, apparently. This is just the day for blowouts. Remember that time we put like cards like Palladium Wars in our deck? Are you really? Wow. <sighs> Divination, really? Over the bone dash? 
All right. Well, we're still alive. Oh, look, they drew two more cards. That's okay. I got some cards coming. This is where they just kill this guy and they gain three life. Ready? It's time to crank that soldier boy. Going to nine. Here we go. Oh, just an arcane encyclopedia. NBD. Oh, baby. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then ten. All right, so let's do this. This is probably very good against them, let's be real. Two, three. Let's get Wanden. Burnt, 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 burnt. We're going to wait until they play things as well, because you know how counter spells. Grouch, thank you so much for seven months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Bye. Hope you don't live in a trash can. Don't live in a trash can. Like Oscar the Grouch. Crank that soldier boy. One, two, three, four. Oh, sure. I'll draw two cards. <laughs> Is it worth saving this guy? Sacking the 3 3 to save the 2 2? Probably. Because they don't really have an efficient way to deal with this guy if they start attacking with it. And this also prevents them from attacking this turn. That's very interesting. So you have to block with one dude here. Sure. Where's your trample at? All right, let's see if we're dead here. Draw your card. <sighs> wow. Nailed it. That was pretty good. Your counter spell has become my counter spell. One, two, three, four, five. And we have four. I think we're actually... No, we block all the dudes. Let's go block here. Block here. Block here. I guess hope you don't have a counter spell in hand. And take four. So now we just need an answer for this guy. Literally nothing left. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, this might have been safer because then if we draw like Palladium Wars or Angel, we'd have an answer. Yeah, that's rough. I think we just killed ourselves. Five, six. Yeah, this would have been, that would have been better. That would have been so much better. I was looking for an answer for this guy, like a removal spell because, oh, that was so bad. 
One, two, three, four. Yep. That is incredibly unfortunate. Yeah, we're not going to win any games playing like this, unfortunately. All right, Invoke can come in. Chaos one, pretty OP. Giant Spider is also pretty reasonable here. Take out the Thud. And take out... I got Titanic growth here. Yeah, we did get a little too wandy. I feel like we could have won that game if we had not played that way. Uh, we brought it in Invoke. Like we also, they also have something. We also saw something else, didn't we? So I'm pretty sure we just go. Three into five, perhaps, and then into these two. And if you want to counter Rejuvenator, that's just fine. Yeah, I didn't think you'd want that. Wow, Rupture Spire. <laughs> that's brutal. When there's Battlefield, sacrifice unless you pay one. Let's take the forest. So they obviously have Cancel because they have two in their deck. Just going to play a bunch of innocuous things that you probably won't care about. Sure, cancel this guy. <laughs> no? This guy's fine? Yeah, didn't think so. All right. Well, I mean, if they would just want to keep up Counterspell Man up for the rest of the game. Yep, that is fine. So now we get to resolve Rock's Oracle and play a land. All right, one, two, three, four, five. That seems good. Oh, it's a little snapper. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's fine. No blocks. Drawing cards is an OP thing to do. So we're probably just playing uh, Gallant Cavalry here. I, I imagine they have Essence Scatter, which is fine. Wow, they don't. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nice turn. Angel going to be doing some work here. What's your favorite archetype in general feeling like of M14? I've, done, I've only done five or six M19 drafts, so it's hard to say. I like the black-white deck because it feels a lot like something. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I think you're dead, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, this is game. Uh, 
Angel of the Dawn. Pretty good card. As the hyperbolic kids would say, not a real magic card. Wait, did we? Oh, we won. Oh, interesting. I thought that I thought we had a game three to play. I have been apparently just. Oh, that's right. They conceded the first game because they got like swamp, swamp, nothing. Dude, I've literally actually forgotten two of the games in this draft so far because they were just not even games. Like, that's so funny. I was like, all right, time for game three because we won one and lost one. Nope, we actually, they conceded on turn like three or so in round one in game one because they didn't have a land or something. That is super weird. What a weird, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this hand. I think this hand is fine with the Manolith. We're on the draw. So we played three, we played five games. It feels like we played three. Am I feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. I just don't think the games that don't exist are really impactful, are really memorable to me, so. Oh, that was a great draw. Now we can go Manolith into Shockerino. And I assume this Manolith's gonna stick. Oh man, rejuvenator.format. <laughs> I'll probably just play the rejuvenator as well if we hit it. And we do. It's also better for this Lena. Lena on me. Forest all day. Oh, I see. I love these enchantments when we have like luminous spots. I'm just like, yeah, I'll just put this guy away. So we can go lane um one, two, three for this and play rupture spire here. That seems good, right? We could also go manolith into planes, which is probably better. One, two, three, manolith, planes, and then use the other three. Yeah, that feels better. Because we get two mana ahead this turn instead of just one. Yeah, they're going to play Gigantosaur and we're just going to be like, well, can I have my Luminous Bonds back? I chose your 6-6. Six, six. Okay, that's not as good. You're problematic. I feel like we're in good shape here. Especially because Lena's going to make three one ones next turn. We'll see. Next time on Dragon Ball, we'll see. That's not the name of the show at all. Why would you say that? It might be the lack of mics throwing me off. <laughs> Line them up, boys. I feel quite safe attacking and playing things when they just have green mana out, which is really nice. This is where they go naturalize, block. Oh, yeah, this game's over. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, efficiently used mana. Oh, they didn't even get to see this, which is just fine. Yeah, Lena's been very good so far. If you can get anywhere between two and two, two or more tokens, it's just very, very good. I'm very impressed. And by impressed, I mean satisfied. Time to bring in the invoke. They have branch wood. I want to get the thud. I think thud is probably only good in the um, sacrifice deck, but I'm not sure yet. 
I need to say it's extended. Uh, so just wondering. Yeah, I'm so, yeah, I don't know if I answered that or not, actually. Perfect fits. I'll keep this hand. I mean, I th that would be obviously amazing if it was an instant. Same way fling is pretty good. But I mean, like, you... You're not being able to like you're basically just using it to two for one yourself or kill your opponent so so next turn we can go coarser or dagger black dagger black basilisk Sure. Tempted to just block here. I kind of want to keep guys alive because if we can just survive long enough, we get to play Lena, and that's pretty strong. But I really don't want to take five a turn. We're not gonna we're not gonna survive at that rate. Especially when they play their Blanchwood armor. Oh, that's really good. Well, we can lean a next turn, given that we hit a, a land here. So this will be the one time we don't hit a land, I bet. <sighs> sure. I guess you could quite literally say it's all going according to plan. Take seven. Yep. So we play this. We attack with everything. We can block here, chump. I don't know how we survive this. Like we have to actually block next turn. And if they can get rid of any of our creatures, we're dead. Yeah, this has been a pretty stupid match. Yeah, we're just dead in the air, actually. How oh, we have two trophies out of four drafts. Yep, that's pretty good. I wonder if Chaos Wand is actually any good here. I don't know how many actual instants and sorceries this deck is going to have. I'll keep this. It's got potential. Rejuvenator or Druid or anything else would be great here. Uh, what's the best archetype out of five drafts? I have no idea. That is a good question. I do like the black-white life gain deck. I like it. I wouldn't say it's the best archetype by any means because I have no idea. Three-one? Yeah, three-one's obnoxious. Something to play. Well, that is something to play, technically. <sighs> So 
Let's go forest armor on this guy. Give me something to do. Play an artifact. Play a mana, a manolith or something. This guy's just rabid bite food, unfortunately. Wow, Brian. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Someone slashed four of your tires? That's, un that's unbelievable. So sorry about that, buddy. That's ridiculous. No blocks. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. That is not a reasonable response. I'm real tempted to just rabid bite both of these guys. Just because they clearly have some kind of enchantment shenanigans. Oh, she stuck around and paid for new ones. That's insane. Oh wow, what a what a crazy ending to that story. What a twist. Brian, if you happen to have a tracking number, I would appreciate it. Just so I can get an, a heads up of what's going on. Uh, I'm just gonna play this guy. Because it's bigger. And if we draw Stone Quarry. <laughs> oh my god. I call it every time. I don't know how to do it. Now we get the Palladium Moors next turn. That's pretty good. New tires are probably better than the old ones. So that actually seems like a... Uh, that actually seems like you come out ahead there. I'm just going to attack here because if they have Rabid Bite, I don't want Palladium Morris to take it. I'd rather just get this Dagger Back Basilisk off the field. Make it say, oh. Oh, Palladia, Palladia, I'm gonna say, oh. So we can go one, two, three, keep up Rejuvenator, or we can just play Rocks Oracle. Yeah, we're not not attacking here, so. I'm worried they're gonna have like an armor for this guy. Might get a five five, tap down Palladia. I think we're just gonna play this guy. Deal. I wanna just keep up invoke. Just in case. Yep, that's what we were thinking. That's not super impressive unless they also put like the big, yeah, that's the one we're concerned with. That's the one we're invoking. What we got here? Progress, thank you so much for the bits or the cheers. Really appreciate it, buddy. If they actually, oh my God, if they tap this guy down so we have to block here, that's actually pretty funny. Dang, <laughs> no such luck. get him uh taking four I'm not gonna block this so one two three four five we can still play rocks oracle and manolith if we want to I 
feel like we're in good shape here. Yeah, just swing for seven. I don't feel like you can 14 us here. No, play never gets back. It, it just it has hexproof until it if it hasn't dealt damage yet. So once it deals damage, it loses it. It's not on a, a specific turn. So uh, damage to anything. Yes, I, I blocked a creature, and it's still it's still lost hex proof. That is correct. Doesn't this guy kill you? What am I missing here? What do you got here? Luminous Bonds? Okay, good game. Your good games. It's a good the games. Yep, I'm just gonna block you here. I'll trade with your stag. Even if it's irrelevant. They don't have float, right? Alright. Do your worst. Nothing to deal with Palladia. That's not, that's literally how Elder Dragons go. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, that first game, first match did not go according to plan, but uh, we didn't actually get to play Magic in one of the matches, one of the games. And the second one we misplayed, I believe... Yeah. Right? Maybe? I don't know. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just ending the YouTube videos. So slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube if you guys are watching from there. Check out my Patreon page or my Twitch profile. They're both linked in the description below. And I make new content there pretty regularly. And uh, it's a great way to support the stream or the videos if you guys appreciate them. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.